What's up guys, J-Dog back here again and we're back with another video and, and today we're going to be doing a video that I've wanted to do for a long time and I've really, it's taken me this long to learn basically. So hopefully now I can pass this knowledge on and we can start uploading our add-ons to our Bedrock servers. Now if you're not familiar with add-ons and you haven't had any problems, that's great. Um, but if you have had problems then this should help a little bit. Actually getting the add-on onto a Bedrock server is something that I always struggled with and it's actually taken quite a while for me to actually learn this. However, since offering free add-ons or add-on downloads from my website, I've now decided to go ahead and learn it so I can make a video um, for anybody that does download any of the add-ons on here to actually use it on their servers too. And if you are wondering where the free add-ons are, come on to jdogofficial.com and you'll be able to find all the free add-ons that we currently have on there. So what do we need for this to work? We need a Bedrock server and we also need some add-ons. Obviously you can use your existing add-ons and you can also add ones that you've already got on your Minecraft world at the moment or free ones that you've downloaded. For this one, I'm going to be using the British Pound Currency. If we just click on that very annoying ad that's just popped up. For our one, we're going to be doing the Pounds Currency add-on that we currently have made by YY4 Studio and again downloadable over here on my website. So it adds some currency which we now want to add to the bedrock server so for this we're going to need ourselves a bedrock server and if you haven't got one yet come on over to seekerhost.co grab yourself a bedrock server and we can get started within minutes now to do this i'm going to be using um a world on my minecraft launcher so on my bedrock minecraft because it's a far easier way of doing this so if you stick right till the end of the video we're also going to be showing how you can download your world off your server upload the add-on as well and then once you do that you can skip back then we can go ahead and just re-upload that world to the server so to get started we have our server we're going to stop the server because we are going to have to upload some files shortly next things next is we're going to have to go open up our minecraft launcher At this point we're going to choose bedrock so we're going to be playing the bedrock version and adding add-ons to the bedrock version so with our bedrock opened up we're going to head on over to where the add-on is you're either going to have this as a zip or an mc add-on if it isn't already you can just change this easily by changing the name so for instance here with the money add-on we just go right hand click on there we go to rename and we just change that to mc add-on if we click off of it it's going to click um, ask us if we want to change that over we can then click yes and you can now double click this and this will load up the add-on I'm not going to double click this because I already have so it's just going to be a duplicate version once you've double clicked that you're going to get a little message on the top saying importing the add-on and then successfully imported next up go to play and choose the world that you want to load up to your server obviously at this point if you have your world on here that's going to be great we can do this straight away if not stick around or skip to the end of the video find out how to download the world from your server and then we're going to be uploading it again with the add-on so I'm just going to use a random world for this I'm going to go for one test test one one test apparently so let's just go to edit over here um, and you can do this on a fresh world as well so what we're going to do is we're going to come down we're going to find whether it's a behavior pack or a resource pack so if we go to behavior packs over here we go to my packs you can see that we have our money add-on or whatever other add-on you have on your minecraft um, after you double clicked it and it's loaded up so we're going to click money over here and we're going to go activate um, yes we want to do that then we're going to go to resource packs go to my packs it'll either be activated automatically or if it's not come to my packs and activate it as well now once we click play this is now going to load up minecraft with the add-on in installed onto this world so first one way to identify this world is going to be by this massive stack of gold that we have here and of course secondly we want to check that we actually have the add-on so on the menu it should be right at the bottom there we go so we have the currency which means that we have the add-on on this single player world and it's all loaded up great that's pretty much all that we need to do to start with now we just need to download this and upload this to the server and we're done to do that save and exit the world and we're going to come back to the actual world itself over here and we're going to go to the little edit sign or the edit pencil from here we scroll all the way down and we're going to go to export world because we want to export the files um, to then sort out so just make sure to put this in the folder somewhere that you'll be able to find and remember so let's just go ahead and do it here there we go everything's done successfully so let's just close down minecraft we don't need that anymore and now it's time to upload stuff to our bedrock server what we basically have is the world that we want to upload onto our server and we have the add-ons attached onto it what we now need to do is upload the files over here now what i'm going to suggest here is using filezilla i do have another video i think it's on the seeker host channel rather than mine so i'll try and have that popping up on the screen now if you don't know how to use filezilla it's a completely free resource that you can connect to any server um obviously including your own as long as you know the password and the details and you can move Move files especially with bedrock which has such large files so i'm going to open up filezilla here again i'll leave any links that i can here for for you to log on but basically the way to use this if i just minimize it now um is you're going to put your your host is your ip so the ip for your server you're then going to put the username your password for your multicraft and then the port um, obviously it's important to use the password for your multicraft not whatever your host you're using it's the actual multicraft password um, and the username and host are there you can find this by going to your ftp file access and just getting the details from there 
So if I load up into it or I connected to my server, you're going to see that we have all of the files for Bedrock right here. And another thing that we have to sort out is actually the map that we downloaded. So we downloaded it from Minecraft. However, it's in an MC world format. So what we want to do here is we just want to export the files so they're properly done. I've got a temporary folder over here where I do temporarily random stuff. So let me just delete that over here. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut and I'm going to paste it into an empty folder just to make my life a little bit easier and hopefully yours. So I'm just going to cut that one here so we're going to take away uh, the map I'm going to put it on a completely empty folder over here so my temp folder uh, paste once the folder is here what we want to do is we want to right hand click it we go to 7-zip if you haven't got 7-zip it's also free you can download it um, or just use what other extraction methods you have um, and what we're going to do is we're going to do is we click extract files click OK it should put it in the same folder as we're in right now what we'll see in a second as you can see right there is this folder right here and it's got everything from um, that world so that's the world plus the add-ons as well now this is the bit which usually gets built confusing because it doesn't specify where to upload this to a server um, so this is hopefully where I can come in and help a little bit so we know where we have our files over here if I close this down close this down and with files a little bit, we're going to see that we still have all our server files on the right and we have the computer files on the left so if I go to desktop and if I go to temp over here we should be able to find there we go the right folder so we've got here if we've got one test in there and on the left hand side we have all the files and um, that we downloaded from our bedrock world right there on the right hand side we have all of our server files now it's just a case of putting things in the right place so first of all what we need to do is we need to go over to worlds click worlds again and this is going to be your current world data this is going to be different depending on what if you're uploading a completely new world so if this is a world that you want to keep on your right hand side don't replace the world data don't replace any of that because that is your current world um, follow until the end of the uh, video so go to the end of the video learn how to download your world and add the add-ons and then re-upload it um, once you've got all the add-ons added to the world that you want to add so that's when you repeat this and then you can overwrite these files um, because you've got the ones with the add-ons on them currently what i'm going to do is i'm going to be uploading a world that i wanted from my minecraft launcher with the add-ons to the server uh, so in that case i don't mind going over and replacing any of them as you can see here we have four we have the level name data data and db so db level data level data old and level data text name first thing we want to do is we want to move all of these over and that's going to be replacing the actual world itself second of all and these are the files that also have to go into the world folder it's going to be the world resource world resource pack history so that's the world resource pack json world resource pack history you can move the icon on as well um, and of course the world uh, behavior packs um, history in JSON as well the ones that you want to leave is the resource pack folder and the behavior pack folder so we're going to move all of that over we're going to move it into the world folder of our server if it asks us if we want to overwrite anything um, let's just go ahead and overwrite anything there great all done with that so let's go back and the last thing that we need to do is go back to the main area over here and we just need to um, upload the behavior packs and the resource packs let's just drag that over to the right hand side onto the server right here this might take a minute because behavior packs in bedrock are massive this is one of the reasons why i use filezilla um, they do take a huge amount of time um, but there we go that wasn't too bad because it was quite a small add-on um, and that is all it takes now if we start our server so if we go back we press start that's going to start the bedrock server with the world from our minecraft launcher with the add-on as well and i can start using the currency in game there we go it's up and ready and that's all it took to upload our bedrock add-ons so now if you've come to the last bit of the video because you have a world on your server that you need to download add the add-ons onto and then re-upload to your server this is going to be it so again what we're going to do is we're just going to stop the server first before we do anything i'm going to log into filezilla again um if you missed this from earlier in the video it's a free resource filezilla.org i believe you download it and you can connect to your server using the host username password that's your multicraft password and then the port you can get all of this in information from your server hosting if you're with seeker host um, just simply come over to your dashboard and go to ftp file access and we'll have your information there that you can then use to log on to filezilla once logged on you can go to your world files and what you're going to find is you're going to find something that looks like this now what you're not going to find is this 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 and this so basically the ones that i haven't highlighted this is what you're going to have in your world folder or world file any of these folders right here let me just delete them so we don't confuse anything um those are going to be if you already have an add-on on which you won't if you're watching this video so this is what it's going to look like to you so to download your world um from your bedrock server onto your pc 
Make sure that you're doing it on the left hand side onto an empty folder or somewhere that you know and simply drag it over to the left. So from your server on the right hand side, we're going to be dragging it to the left and if it's a small world, it will just take a few seconds like we just did. So we can close this down now. And now go ahead to the folder that you just uh, put your server files into. And there we go. So that is now the files um, that make up my server world. What we now need to do is we need to um, highlight them all, right hand click. I'm going to go to 7-zip and we're going to go to add to archive. What this will do is we'll make a nice zip folder with all the files within it. There we go. This is going to be our world now. Final step and that's going to be to rename it and then just make it an MC world. Press enter. Press yes. And then we can now double click it and this will now open up our Minecraft launcher. You're going to see that the world import has started and if all has been done correctly, that should say successfully done. There we go. So that's all finished. If we go to play, you can now see uh, that one test, which is that world is now on our Minecraft launcher. What you can now do is just go back into the video. Um, I should have timestamped this by now, we hope. Um, and you can now just follow that put the add-ons onto your single player world which is this one here so just a quick run through click the little pencil over here we're going to scroll down add the behavior packs or the resource packs depending on what you're adding um, and then just follow them steps really upload it back to your server and you've got your world with your add-ons on a bedrock server it will then ask anybody that joins to download it they can click yes download the resource pack and they'll be playing so thanks for watching guys don't forget to hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already for any free add-ons just come on to jdogofficial.com go to the add-on section on the home page and here you can see all the free add-ons and there will of course be many more add-ons to come and um, we just have some of the free ones here already stuff like currency anti-creeper explosions street signs better concrete and cool little add-ons like that and of course if you haven't started yourself a minecraft server yet um, whether it be bedrock or java head on over to seekerhost.co use the code 25 offer a 25 percent off your first server and thanks again for watching